So you wanna learn how to get more email subscribers. Well, one of the best ways to do it is by offering something, a lead magnet, in exchange for that email address. Now, hopefully you're not just saying, hey guys, subscribe to my newsletter because Basically, you're just saying, hey guys, I'm gonna give you more emails. People don't want more emails. People want something in exchange for getting on that email list. So what can you give them in exchange for that email address? Well, here are 17 things that you could offer. And by the way, things have changed over time. Back in the day when I started building my email list, it was to offer the biggest thing possible, the 30 to 50 page ebook or PDF file, which is no longer something that people wanna download. People don't wanna spend their time reading 30 to 50 pages of something. People want the quick hits. So I'm gonna give you 17 quick hit lead magnets that you could offer your audience right now. Number one, a resource list. People love lists of tools and resources they can use to gain an advantage or do something a lot more conveniently. By creating simply a list of these items, you're gonna help them out and they're gonna wanna get that list. So let's say for example, you have a photography blog. You can create a list of the five tools that a photographer should be using to edit their files quicker or to get better lighting in their photos or a list of five of the cheapest tools that you can use to you know, travel with your photography items. All kinds of lists work. Just create a simple one. People are gonna wanna download it. Number two, a quick start guide. Teaching something that people are doing in a quick way is a quick way to get an email address. So if you're that photography blogger, for example, you can offer a quick start guide on how to use a particular kind of camera or a quick start guide to how to use Photoshop or InDesign or whatever it is. By offering a quick start guide, you're gonna be quick to get those emails. Number three, offer a cheat sheet. I offer one of these for people who wanna start a podcast. My buddy David Simon Gartland uh, has one for people who wanna start an online course. A cheat sheet sounds exactly what it is. It's just a one page or two page PDF file that has all the top tips to help a person burn through a particular process that might take a lot longer. It's similar to a quick start guide, but the cheat sheet phrasing is really what it is. It reminds me of the Game Genie back uh, when I played Nintendo. All you have to do is plug in the Game Genie into your console and boom, you can walk through a level much faster or jump much higher or you know get 99 lives to start out with. So just like the Game Genie, you're gonna offer your audience a quick way to gain an advantage using this cheat sheet, and they're gonna wanna give you their email address for it. Number four, a video answer to one of the most pressing questions your audience has. So for somebody who's brand new to your website, what is likely their number one question? Answer that in a video and give them access to that video after they subscribe to your list. Number five, offer a checklist. So if you teach a certain process, let's say for example, you teach Facebook marketing, there's likely a number of steps that a person needs to take to go from where they're at now to a successfully running campaign on Facebook. You could, in exchange for that email address, offer them a checklist of just, here are the 20 things that you need to do from start to finish to get where you wanna go. So think about a process, write down all the steps and put a nice little check mark box next to it so they can follow along. And that's something that's very valuable that can actually help a person too. Number six, email scripts. If you are at all teaching anybody to send any emails or communications to other people by simply giving them an email script that they can copy and paste and put in their own voice, very highly valuable item that saves people a lot of time that they're gonna wanna get access to. Writing emails is one of the hardest things to do for some people, so make it easy for them and just give it away, give them a starting point. Number seven, offer a mini course. Now a mini course is a training that might still live in a platform where you know they go through modules and lessons, but it's gonna be very light and really help them with one particular outcome. This is a great high value item that a person might even want to or could potentially even pay for, but you're giving it away for free. And as a result, you're essentially showing them how much amazing value you have to offer, and then you can upsell them into something later on. So a good example of this is from Caleb Wojcik, the person behind the camera right now. He has a website at DIYvideoguy.com, and he offers a free mini course on how to use Adobe Premiere to edit your videos, which then leads people into a higher, more premium level course, but he's gaining email addresses as a result of just literally showing them how to do it in a very high value course. Number eight, instead of a mini course that lives on a platform, you can offer an email course. So you're still teaching, but you're teaching through after people subscribe to your email list. So day one becomes lesson number one, day two becomes lesson number two, day three becomes lesson number three. An example of this is over at 100emails.com where I teach people how to go from zero emails to 100 emails in 72 hours. It's simply just built into ConvertKit, which is my email service provider. And every day a person gets a new lesson. And by the end, the outcome is they have 100 emails or more. Producing an email course is great because it's still high value, but it also just lives in your email system, it's great. Number nine, if you have a book or you're thinking about writing a book, 
you can offer chapter one for free. Now this is really cool because people love to get access to books and they get a little piece of a much larger book that they know is there. But more than that, they get a feel for what that book is like. So if they actually like that book and they wanna go into chapter two and beyond, well, then they can download or buy your book from there. Number 10, in a similar way, if you have an online course, you can take module one of that course or perhaps your favorite module, pull that out and make it available in exchange for an email address to see for free. It's a great way to show people exactly how you teach and what that course is like, and then they are likely to upgrade to the full thing. Or if they're not ready for it yet, that's okay. At least you have the opportunity to nurture them because you've collected their email address for sure. And because it's a part of a paid product, again, you're gonna be able to get a lot more email subscribers as a result because you know they wanna, they wanna see what it's like. Number 11, you can offer a quiz with results that actually help people. A good example of this comes from Michael Hyatt, who at the end of each year offers his course best year ever. Well, to get people on his email list so then he can pitch them this course, which I actually take every single year, he offers an assessment, a life score assessment that you can go through where you answer a few questions here and there and at the end it gives you kind of a score and then from there he kind of tells you, okay, here's the kind of person you are and here's kind of what your struggles might be but here's what you can do to get out of those struggles and where you can go uh, to the next level. So I love that because you are interacting and you are also providing value but because it's different than something you download, it's actually something you participate in, you know, you can get quite a, quite a few email subscribers as a result. Number 12, you can offer templates. So let's say for example, you teach people how to do things on YouTube. Well, you can offer a template on you know, thumbnails that people can then work off of. If you teach podcasting, you can offer you know, a GarageBand file that people can work off of that already has some bits and pieces in there that they can work off of. Because you're giving them a head start, they're gonna wanna get access to that. You're helping them out, you're providing a lot of value you can get an email address for it. Number 13, you can offer transcriptions. So if you do any video or podcasting, you can just take the transcriptions, the words that you said or recorded, put them into a PDF file. That's something that people will likely exchange their email address for. James Shramko from Superfast Business does transcriptions that are only available through email on his podcast. And he tells me that it grows his email list, which is great. And it is something that people will want because you know some people just don't have the ability to listen or watch to something, they wanna, they wanna read it instead. Um, and also they can work off of that, it's a PDF file. They can, they can print it out and you know, write notes with it too. It's pretty valuable. Number 14, offer a bonus audio file. So let's say for example that you have a lot of written content on your blog, you can take some of that and actually turn it into audio content, MP3 files that people can download and get access to after they give you uh, their email address. So again, it becomes a, a, a different form of using the same content, but still highly valuable that people would wanna get access to because sometimes people just wanna listen on the go. They're not able to read all these things all the time. So super valuable. Number 15, a contact list. So your Rolodex, your network. You can create, instead of a resource list of tools and items, you can create a resource list of people that people who are on your list should know. So by offering your contact list, it's almost like a, a way to get involved with the network that you've built. Now, this works in both ways. You're providing a lot of value to those subscribers because you know, you're showing them who to know. But to the people who are on that list, you are sending them people who are your subscribers. So you're offering leads or getting them clients and stuff. So you can work that angle too and potentially create deals there so that it's a win for everybody. Number 16, you can offer access to an upcoming live training. So I know a lot of people who um, you know, every week or every month, they have a live training where they go and they teach something. And the exchange for the email is a result of just registration or getting a seat or getting access to that webinar. So you might wanna experiment uh, with that. Have a date in the future where you're gonna teach something and tell people in your sidebar at the bottom of your blog post or wherever, hey, register for this webinar. And of course, by doing that, they're gonna get on your list. Number 17, instead of offering access to a live webinar, you can offer access to a pre-recorded one. So a replay to an existing webinar. You might wanna actually do number 16 first, do it live, and then have that available for people to get access to afterwards, and then it's automated. So there you go, guys. 17 different lead magnets and incentives you can create to get more people on your email list. You have no excuse now not to do this. And hopefully you can take that email list that's just simply asking for emails in exchange for more emails or an exclusive newsletter, and actually then give something of value in exchange, such that a person is more likely to open your future emails because you have already delivered a lot of value. Now really quick, three things before you go. Number one, hook me up with a thumbs up if you like this video. I always love those thumbs up, thank you. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out. And then number three, I'd love to hear from you. Down below in the comment section, what lead magnet of these 17 
is the one that you are most excited about, or perhaps you're already doing one or more of these, leave a couple numbers down below. I'll have a list in the description for you so it's easy to find. Let me know which one of these lead magnets is most exciting to you, and then get to work on it if you haven't done that already. Resources and links to all things mentioned in this video are down below. Thanks again. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Team Flynn for the win.